let me tell you the trick. This is the trick that a lot of people miss. Fred, when you get in this business and you're around us a lot and you Zoom with us all the time and you Facebook with a bunch of people and then we got two million mutual friends and every post you see, somebody getting promoted, somebody credit score going up, somebody taxes going down, somebody equity max got them uh, thinking like a millionaire again, somebody just got their land banking certificate, somebody got their PRA account. What happens is, you start thinking that that's a lot of people. What you forgot is no, your circle is all of us. So you start believing that this knowledge is commonplace. Y'all see what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. in your mind, every post you see, so it says got promoted. So, and so, so, so now when you get out there back to the real world and you peak interest, you can't understand why this fool don't get it. <laughs> It's because to you, you eat, live, what, sleep, drink, <laughs> you work out to it. So when we talk to a prospect, we like, I don't understand what you don't get. No, 220 million Americans don't get it. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 220 million Americans don't get it. But your 2,000 friends on your timeline, this is all we talk about. So you start getting confused and start thinking that your circle and the friends you got on Facebook is the world. You, you see the mistake people make? In other words, either your circle, which is like a lot of times not in the business, and then you got us on Facebook and social media and Zooms and, and StreamYard and the EDM group and the SD group and Brian's personal coaching. Then, so you got these two worlds. So you start thinking either people get it or they what? Oh. Don't. And you forget about the 200 million people, Marv, that haven't even what? Seen it. Seen it. Ain't even seen it. <laughs> that's the mind play and that's the problem with most people. When I tell you what God did give me a gift of, he gave me a gift of perspective. So my perspective on things is just totally different than most people's. I just have a unique perspective on everything. I got a unique perspective on everything. So it don't make me right. It don't make me wrong. It just means I'm very non-judgmental and I keep my mind, I, I, I try to understand the perspective because that's why I'm an excellent builder. Because if I can understand your perspective, I can help you see my perspective and it made the best person win. Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. but, but I can't shove my perspective on you because you have a right to your way. Your perspective. Your perspective. Mm -hmm. But what I do know is that if I just look at social media and see all of us winning and the testimonies and MWR and the million dollar rings and blah, 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 blah. And then I'm talking to my friends and they don't see it and they don't understand it you start thinking you losing. No, you ain't losing. You just ain't tapping into the 200 million people that haven't met any of us yet. That's where I live. See, I live with the people who haven't seen us. You live with the people that you have, that's already in the business and those that you keep trying to convince. I live with the people that don't even know my name. Y'all see the difference? Right. That's the difference with me and most people. It's all perspective. Look. <laughs> I, I wish, let me tell you something. We got a guy that came into the business, Marv, a week ago. He hit AD today. Wow. Look, not a networker. He's 26. He got three SDs, no placement. Nothing wrong with placement, but he didn't have, he didn't have no help. Mm -hmm. One week. Let me tell you what y'all not understanding that you need to get. You cannot underestimate this one word called momentum. Right. Y'all in this thing so early, man. Let me tell you something. Y'all in this thing so early that y'all think I'm playing on, on my lives and stuff. The home-based business won't be popular for another two to five years. That's when it's going to get popular. Like, it's commonplace. You got to have one. Everybody going to stop thinking it's a scam. 
everybody gonna stop. You know, like like there's certain points in life where companies disprove or prove a myth. Amway has to do it with network marketing, so they had they were the ones to go out there and prove that this that this model would work. McDonald's had to prove that people would leave a home cooked meal, take a car, and go through a drive what? Drive through. Do y'all know if you know your history? Do y'all know people thought McDonald's was a scam? They thought it was a scam. Oh wow! Cause you gotta remember, way back then, you mean to tell me y'all gonna have my meal done in three minutes? That's back when Mama cooked three meals per what? Day. Per day. Yeah. So I'm supposed to buy into your restaurant, drive through, and you are gonna have me a nice burger and some fries. People thought McDonald's was a scam. Go do your research. Go look at what the newspaper said about the McDonald's franchise back then. So what my point, guys, is every generation has like an era where a certain group of people or a certain company or a certain concept comes through and it dispels all the myths for the next generation. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay.